Hi everyone, it's your favorite Pesca Vinny Vegan, Kara Wedby here for the main event. It's Thanksgiving part four, the main dish, game day. All right, so again, it's coming from the Five Ingredients or Less Slow Cooker Cookbook by Stephanie O'J. We are doing the Cajun spinach and salmon. I took a picture of this recipe, so you'll have it, but um, we also are having a couple other things. Cranberry sauce. <laughs> this is the one my kids like. It's easy. That's what we're doing. And we are having dinner rolls from Energy. They are tapioca dinner rolls. They're gluten-free, egg-free, dairy-free, vegan. They look like this. They have them at Disney World and on Disney Cruise Line. And literally the instructions are microwave for 15 to 20 seconds or toast. <laughs> so pretty easy. I'll have to wait until it's time. So that's what we're having. And I'm using Kroger's wild caught pink salmon, boneless, skinless uh, family size. So there were six fillets in here. So that's what we're doing. We're doing it in the slow cooker, obviously. Um, so what I had to do first was spray it. So I sprayed it with extra virgin olive oil. Then you're supposed to wash, which this is already washed, but I washed it again. Wash and rinse some baby spinach leaves. It says 10 ounces, a 10 ounce bag. So I just did 10 ounces out of here um, and put them in the bottom of the slow cooker. So I already did that. And then take four to six ounce salmon fillets and line them on top of the spinach, which I've already done that. They're already in there. Um, then it says, and I thought those out by the way, and then it says a fourth of a cup dark brown sugar and one tablespoon homemade Cajun seasoning. There's a recipe on here for that, but I have my organic coconut palm sugar, brown sugar that I used. And then I have already made Cajun seasoning because we live here in the South, raging Cajun, Cajun seasoning. So I use that. Um, and it says one tablespoon of that and then you mix it together. So I did that in a bowl. There it is. Then it says to um, set the salmon fillets on top of the spinach in a small mixing bowl, combine the brown sugar and Cajun seasoning, sprinkle on top of the spinach. That doesn't make any sense because the salmon's on top of the spinach. So I guess sprinkle on top of the salmon <laughs> is what she meant to say there. So that's what we're doing. Sprinkling on top of the salmon. It's going to have some good coverage. Spinach. It says it's going to take two hours on high, so I've got my slow cooker turned to high. Just covering all of the salmon here and the spinach. Kind of have it going up the sides because it's more place than I thought it was going to be. So. I'll show you what this looks like before I start it. Then it says you want three limes juiced and divided or about one and a half tablespoons of lime juice. Um, and it just says add that to the top. I'm allergic to citrus, so I can't have lime juice. So I'm gonna use my favorite substitute, apple cider vinegar. One and a half tablespoons on top here. citrusy acid flavor okay and that should be it for the ingredients cover and cook on high for about two hours and ensure the fish flakes easily with a fork the spinach will wilt quite a bit don't be surprised served with rice or a lime wedge which we're not serving with rice we're serving with thanksgiving so this is the pesca part of our pesca vinny vegan i'm going to show you what it looks like okay so here it is we've got our slow cooker on high for the next two hours. You can see the spinach kind of peeking out there underneath the salmon fillets. And then our mixture of brown sugar and Cajun seasoning has been sprinkled on top. And then the apple cider vinegar in place of lime on top of that. So we'll see how it looks in two hours. All right, the main event is done. This Cajun spinach and salmon is done and ready to eat and it is delicious 
we are heating up everything else that you've seen me make right now. The rolls are toasting here in my little Instapot 9 and in 1. And we got gravy heated up on the table already, cranberry sauce, plant-based butter, and the baby Jesus. Happy Thanksgiving.